gotta say, this has become a little bit frustrating. Make sure you guys smash and grab that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more on this afternoon. I'll have all the poll ratio data for quarter century uh, that I could get my hands on for you guys. So look forward to seeing that. So, we finally got the Evil Twins, the Alt Arts. Yay! I really wish that I could physically hold them in my hands right here and be able to play these for whatever reason out here. The Konami TCG, and this is, this is the part that I said that this has gotten annoying. These Alt Arts that we've had out here. How long has it been now? Two two years going on? Possibly we're still missing, you know, some of the original alt arts. And, you know, one of them being the one that came out with Juggernaut Lady. We're missing both of the Evil Twin arts at this point in time. Comment, where are we where are we putting these? Uh, you seem to actively believe that these two cards have a selling point. You know, you took Engage, you took Shizuku, you split them apart, you said, hey, we'll put one here, we'll put one in Battles of Legend. It's like a secret card. You know, ooh, tech choices. Uh, I think at this point in time, Konami is saving this for Bonanza 2. Now, for those of you, I, I gotta talk about this for a second because people, I, I, I've had actual conversations with people that don't seem to understand how this works. So, I've had a couple conversations with people that are like, wow, do you think that Konami canceled the polls for Quarter Century Bonanza? Or, you know, they're like, wow, it's really strange that they canceled Quarter Century Bonanza poll, and, you know, they asked us for all of these cards, and those cards weren't even in the set. Like, you know, they didn't even listen to us. And I'm sitting here, I'm like, what do you mean? They canceled this. Like, hold up here. You thought, you actually thought that Konami would make this pull, close it on Monday morning, all right, and then have the set reveals be that day, and then you actually had the thought to go, wow, Konami's tallied up all the data. They've had enough time to print the product, so they, they close the poll at midnight, all right? So we're going to go, all right, so we got to we gotta get the content packs out to the creators. We have to tally up all this data. You know, we can get the printer going in 12 hours. We can get these reveals up. We can get the set printed, and we can get this out to those Yugi tubers. And then, of course, oh, no, we don't even have to factor in the time for the Yugi tubers to film the videos, get them approved by Konami out here. I shit you not, everybody, this has been an actual conversation that multiple people have had on this whole process that I have actually seen and had people in my comment section go, well, you know, I can't believe this, you know, they didn't even listen to us. <laughs> what do you mean they didn't listen to you? If you thought that the them asking which quarter centuries you wanted were going to have any impact whatsoever on the first Bonanza set? That's ludicrous! There's no way! There, there's... The, the signs for Bonanza 2 are in the writing, all right? It's on the wall. It's right there. It's so obvious. It says, hold on, right here. Hey, right here. You know, I, I know you probably can't see it, all right? It says Bonanza 2 will be right here because we asked you thoughts of cards you wanted to put in Bonanza 2. And, you know, it's... It's just that. Like, what the hell? Like, I'm broken by this. I, I've been broken by this for days. And the thing that really sparked this was today when I was sitting here and somebody was like, wow, you know, I can't believe they asked us our opinion on Bonanza and they didn't even put in Air Neos. And I'm sitting here and I'm like, it takes like three months to print a product. I'm really glad to think that you think that closing a poll, the mail system, and the actual works of things all work that quickly. Let's give it up, everybody. Let's give it up. The internet remains undefeated in understanding product management, product allocation, product design, product everything. And they seem to think that their opinion does not matter when it is a very futuristic thing and that's why I said like this all ties into the annoying thing out here because this video is brought to you by the evil twins you know because it's annoying it is Konami has taken stuff that was delivered in one set and said oh hey everybody we're that's a really cool idea we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna break it down for two plus years 
All right, nobody really cares about this, but we know. I've got people that I know that want to have these cars in quarter century and they're willing to spend the money. They don't care if they're going to be two, three hundred dollars a piece. They're willing to spend the twelve hundred dollars to get their waifus. All right, oh yeah, sure, you can go pick up the Korean version, you can go pick up the Japanese version. I'm not going to stop a single human being from wanting to run out and get those other cards. And you know what? You can play those with your friends on casual tabletop, not in a local sanctioned tournament. That's fine. You are allowed to enjoy those cards however you want. But if you want legal versions of these waifus and the, all, and the beautiful alt arts that they are, you already know you're going to have to probably wait till Bonanza 2. Now, I mean, Bonanza 2... I don't even know. Honestly, I don't even know if it's going to be called Bonanza 2. You already know that Konami's tallying up all the quarter center. According, well, actually, according to some people, they, they, they already have the data all totaled up. It was totaled in the first one minute of them closing the polls. They started the printer already. The next set's already designed. I'm sitting here, I'm like, y'all are wild. Y'all are crazy. All right. I really wish I lived in that state of just woo. Um, I, we probably don't even know if it's going to be called Bonanza 2. I, it's going to be RCO4, 100%. RCO4 should be the last set of quarter centuries, we're assuming, um, because the TCG emphasized that the stuff was ending relatively quickly, and I or soon. And I think that's an important thing to be looking at here, is when they say it's going to be ending, it's going to be ending. You pumped out four reprint sets of huge value. Konami inflated their wallets, and they spread things out for way longer than it needed to be. Um, at this point in time, I would be prepared for another nostalgia pool of things. Once again, I mean, Quarter Century Crush Card, Delinquent Duo, Trap dust shoot. I, I do not actively believe that Konami is that stupid. Some days I know that for a fact that they're very disassociated, but I can't actively believe that Konami didn't add these cards to the pool for a reason, especially when you went after full force, you went after the rest of this. Uh, also, another Verse Dragon was not present in the reprint pool, which is something that I was definitely expecting to see, and I still actively believe that we will see that eventually. Uh, Blood Memphis alone has selling power. I, I expected... Um, Bonanza 1, I expected to see Blood Memphis on the first run of Cyberstein being announced, for sure. But I do actively now believe that we've been through Bonanza 1. We've seen this. I can see Konami keeping this card locked up for reprint equity for Bonanza 2. You put the Evil Twins in there, you put Blood Memphis in there. People are going to shit their pants on the floor. They're going to buy the set. You topple it off with like Trap Dust Shoot Delinquent Duo and Blood Memphis. Congratulations. You have a perfect combination of things for your player base. But... This, uh, this all ties back into the discussion here of it's annoying that Konami has taken nearly as long as they have to release these alt arts. It also proves that Konami TCG values these alt arts as extremely luxurious cards. Konami is viewing these cards as a, it's a selling point surprise, if you will. You know, they're not going to directly tell you that they're going to do these. Some of the time they will. But... Konami wants to use these to propel products even further beyond their estimated beginning values, and they want to use that to lure you in. I think that's what they're doing with the Evil Twins. The fact that, you know, the, the Evil Twins are being marketed as the first anniversary side of things on Master Duel right now is exactly what the TCG wants to do. They want to capitalize on that success. They want to capitalize and go, hey, we know that you want these. Give us your money. All right. Or, you know, maybe they're just holding out for some more Evil Twin support to, you know, double it down and sell it. You know, it's kind of interesting that the TCG released the Altar Dragon Maid stuff when Dragon Maid stuff was announced in the OCG. But we're not going to see that stuff till probably May, June of next year. So that's it is very annoying to see the current cycle of things and how things are acting in the game. Are they bad? No. Are they annoying? 150 well, percent. And they're going to continue to be what I'm going to call a nuisance at the end of this. So, what do you guys think about all of that? Ugh, I can't wait to show quarter century bonanza ratios today because uh, I've already got people that are going to go, I can't believe this. There are no short prints. Dislike the video. I'm going to be like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Whatever you say, ignorance is a bliss. 
patrons. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.